Ferrari shocks the world with the highest power density production engine in history. Beneath that carbon fiber skin lies a marvel of engineering. We're talking about a combined 1,184 horsepower. But how did they pull off this madness? Today, we'll break down this engineering jewel and stay until the end to find out its price. This isn't just a powerful engine. It's an entire ecosystem of innovation. 48-volt electric turbochargers spinning at 130,000 RPM, active aerodynamics, so advanced it generates over a ton of downforce, and a suspension system that anticipates every movement. At the heart of the F80 is the same 3.0-liter, 120-degree V6 engine used in the Le Mans winning 499P and the 296 GDB. But here, it's been pushed to the extreme. This engine uses two 48-volt electric turbochargers, producing an astonishing 3.7 bar of boost pressure, the highest ever seen in a production car. To put it into perspective, the new Porsche 911 GTS T-Hybrid, with a larger engine, produces 133 horsepower per liter. The F80, with a smaller V6, blasts out 296 horsepower per liter from the combustion engine alone for a total of 888 horsepower. That's 234 more than the 296 GTB version, with the same displacement. And all of this while maintaining the same engine weight, thanks to extensive use of titanium in key components. Ferrari's in-house electric motors power the front axle, spinning at 30,000 RPM, faster than Formula E motors. Each delivers 148 horsepower, bringing the total system output to 1,184 horsepower. The F80's aerodynamics are insane. At the front, there's an S-duct that feeds a tri-wing, channeling processed air through an opening in the hood. That air is precisely directed over the cabin and beneath the rear wing. At the same time, two vortex generators under your feet sculpt airflow along the doors. Want more? Two small openings beneath the front splitter draw air into the front subframe. The aluminum crash rails? They're hollow. Air flows through them to cool the massive front CCMR Plus brakes, taken straight from the 296 Challenge race car. Huge knock ducts on the doors and rear bodywork feed the engine, rear radiators, and brakes. The massive rear diffuser, which starts beneath your feet, rises toward the back. And to achieve the optimal angle, the engine and transmission are tilted one degree upwards. Three barge boards per side underneath the front section extract dirty air to optimize diffuser performance. All of this is supported by 48-volt Multimatic dampers that not only keep the F80 flat through corners, but also ensure it maintains an aerodynamically ideal ride height. To make this magic happen, Ferrari conducted 2,500 CFD simulations, multiple wind tunnel sessions, and over 2,000 miles of real-world testing. The result? 1,012 pounds of downforce at the front axle and 1,298 pounds at the rear. The braking system is brake-by-wire, meaning there's no physical connection between the pedal and the calipers, ensuring millimetric precision. And to make sure all that power hits the tarmac, the F80 wears Extreme Performance Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 R tires, developed for motorsport, with a whopping 27 different rubber compounds. And finally, the price, $4 million, 